Hello, welcome to The Sewing Circle. My name is Leslie and this is my tiny trailer where we meet every week to spark and inspire creativity. This week's episode is a continuation of My Handmade Christmas. If you haven't already liked and subscribed, please do because you're not going to want to miss out on what's to come. When you think of a handmade Christmas, what do you think? What does it bring to mind for you? You know, I have some great memories of mom making up this salt dough and us uh -oh. rolling it out and cutting it with cookie cutters and painting it and uh, having them hang and crack on the tree. Um, but you know, making handmade items doesn't have to be old fashioned, especially these days when we have so many resources and so many fabric choices. So I wanna inspire you um, what we're going to be doing today is using this soft web, uh, soft fuse premium. Um, it's like a peel and stick, peeling, peel and iron on product, and I'll share more about that. We're going to be using some free printable stars, um, and I'm going to be sharing some other items like um, coloring books and how we can use a coloring book picture. This is a picture that my little granddaughter Capri colored and I'm going to be sharing how I could replicate that for a gift tag for her or for a Christmas tree ornament for her tree. Now um, we can find all kinds of printables uh, off online and I'll be linking some of these. Here's trees. Um, I think I have some smaller trees here somewhere too. Oh yes. We have smaller Christmas trees. Anything that you could draw up or find in a coloring book, a free printable, um, even on Etsy you can buy printables. Um, and then start thinking about, like I'm always thinking about what is the theme of my Christmas this year? Now, I know I like black and white checkered. I've had that for a few years in a row. I do have a lot of silver and gold and green um, ornaments on my tree and this year I think I do want to go with that gold and green theme again and add a little bit of a burgundy to it. So if this sounds interesting to you stick around I'm going to show you what we're going to do. So here I am I've stuck my star pattern underneath my bond paper and I'm just tracing them off so that I can have the pattern available to cut them out after I've bonded fabric to them. Now these stars I'm tracing, they can be used as ornaments. They'll, they, they will be able to be used as Christmas tags if you really love to dress up your packages, I, which I love to do. And then when someone opens the package, they actually will have the tag or, you know, in lieu of a bow, they'll have a star that they can then repurpose or they can add to their tree. Um, really fun fact, you can personalize these with uh, themes like if your grandchildren or your children love uh, superheroes or Barbie princesses. So I have stars all traced off and I have Capri's owl. I'm working here on cutting little bits and pieces. I even fussy cut some little Christmas fabric. All right, we've got one star set up here with some fabric and I'm going to go ahead and use the paper just to protect everything from the sticker. And we can then remove our star and check all the lodge fabric. any of the fabrics that I want to stay adhe adhering to my star pattern. Okay, I just finished up some more star pieces. Uh, I didn't cover all of this over here, just wanted to show you progress. I have an all-purpose ink pad.
So here they all are ironed onto the cotton. fleece which is a kind of a thinner polyester it just is going to provide a backing um, and a little more stability so Bye.